and welcome to the 12th episode of Miss HTML Teacher. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to create a web banner with web buttons below. This is the second part of uh, how to create web buttons so anyone who's watching the video looking for sec the second part you're in the right place. So first we're going to start off with new and we're going to put the width at 1000 and the height at 2000 pixels that's uh, a good size web banner now here you can see you've got a set background it's going to be locked and you want to change it so we duplicate this layer and we click OK and we use it as if it was a shape click here we go to the gradient overlay obviously you don't have to have gradient but um, I like to and we're going to scroll down and go to this light blue actually yeah we'll use this colour it looks a pretty good colour and then we're going to add in our text. I'm going to put sample web banner, highlight it, styles, put it my styles, and put it as a. Yeah, we'll leave it with blue. Then there's our banner there created, and here would obviously be. your home home etc etc I'll, I'll sort that one out a bit later on just to get to the kind of style of the banner we're going to go down here and create a new layer now this layer is going to be where our brush effect goes we'll find the brush tool we'll use the brush and I'm going to set this brush to a 300 and I'm going to set the colour to a standard white and there, there's a pretty good effect there. Um, if, you, if it happens to go across the text, that can be easily changed by put. Sorry, edit that. Obviously, it can be easily changed by just scrolling through and seeing what colour matches you. And if you've made a mistake, you can just easily delete the layer without starting again. See, there's a good layer colour for it to blend in color dodge, we've got all sorts here um, that's what I like about Photoshop these great things now obviously I'm not going to have three of them just going across like that, so I'm going to delete this layer and start again which is perfect because nothing's gone I'm just going to put my standard one in there and I'm going to go ahead and find another one now as you can see, it's gone over so once again, you go through what you think looks good go through what you think is good and I'm going to stick with this one and I'm going to I'm going to use this one like that now I'm going to click file save save it to my desktop the untitled one and then I'm going to go ahead and find my navigation bar my navigation bar is saved in PSDs and I'm just going to bring it up when I can find it <laughs> um, not down here navigation bar there it is let's wait for it to load and there it is so you're probably wondering well how am I going to get that onto mine simple as I'm going to change the gradient overlay colour for this one and set it as that light blue and OK obviously they can be changed the style of them I've, I've taught you how to do them in previous tutorials I'm going to click save as and I'm going to save it as a JPEG image save it good size for the uh, property size and then I'm going to exit out of that and find my navbar open with Firefox now this can be done any other way um, you can use it just as any normal image but I prefer to do it this way and then I'll simply insert it in here but if you copy in any image make sure your background colour is black, just make sure it's black 
sorry, white, otherwise it won't blend in. As you can see, that's blended in pretty much perfectly. If it's not the colour you're looking for, then go, obviously go ahead, change whatever colour you want it to look like, and uh, find the right colour. Obviously you can see that's exactly the same as what's behind it, but you can still see the white. So for this I advise to use the either colour burn, colour burn, or multiply. I'm going to stick with multiply and obviously you can then add in your text. Start with home, enlarging that to a 24, place it into the place I want and it's put in place there and then obviously I go ahead and put in what size next one and there you have it there's your web banner created with a good sized text at the top for the header then your good navigation bar down there and your brushes in the background I'm also going to make another tutorial today go by my third tutorial today and I'm going to show you how to use a good brush effect and a good how to create a good web banner without using a navigation bar. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in a few minutes.